Hello guys, in this video, I will explain whether this circuit is correct or this one. And this video is suggested by Mr. Robert Scott. Thank you so much for this comment. Now let's get started. I will draw two types of circuit. The both circuit type has 7 inputs. The input level is plus 5 volt. In this type of circuit, we are using one resistor to limit the current and in this type of circuit, we will use 7 resistors to limit the current. We know that 7 segment display is a combination of 7 LEDs. Now we have to find out whether this circuit is correct or this one. In a normal condition, current through the LED is 20 mA at 3V. So we can draw this circuit like this. Current in the circuit will be 20 mA. So the internal resistance of the LED is R equal to V by I 3 divided by 20 mA. It is equal to 150 ohms. So we can write it like this. Now we have this LED, there is something to note, internal resistance of this LED is 150 ohm, it glows on 3 volt, current through the LED is 20 mA at 3 volt. And now we want to glow this LED at 5 volt, so we need to connect a series resistor with this. Now we don't know the value of this resistor, but we know the internal resistance of the LED, it is 150 ohms. The total voltage from this point to the ground is 5 volt. This LED glows at 3 volt. The voltage drop up to this is 3 volt. So the voltage drop from here to the ground is must be 2 volt. As we know, the current in this circuit should be 20 mA. Now we need to drop 2 volt at this resistor. So the value of the resistor will be V by I that is 2 by 20 mA and it is equal to 100 ohms. So the final circuit will be power supply should be 5 volt. We have a LED, internal resistance is 150 ohm, the series resistor is 100 ohms, current throw is 20 mA and the total resistance of this circuit is 150 plus 100 it is 250 ohms. Now we'll see the practical circuit with single LED with single resistor. Positive is connected with positive rail. With the negative rail, a 100 ohm resistor is connected. This resistor is connected with negative. Now connect an LED. This LED is glowing at 5 volt with 100 ohms resistor. Now if we connect according to this, all the positive pin of the LED will be connected to plus 5 volt. I am connecting it one by one. Now you can see increasing the number of LEDs results in decreasing in brightness. Why because we have connected 7 LEDs in parallel and we know that each LED has 150 ohms of internal resistance. So the equivalent resistance is 1 by R1. Imagine that this one is R1. So R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6 and R7. It is 1 by 21.42. So R equal to approximately 20 ohms. So the total resistance of the circuit is here it is 20 ohms and here it is 100 ohms. So it is 120 ohms. Supply voltage is plus 5 volt. So the current is V by R. It is 5 by 120 it is 0.041 that is 41 milliampere. Per LED needs 20 milliampere so 7 LED needs 20 multiplied by 7 it is 140 milliampere. But we have 41 milliampere that is why brightness is decreasing by increasing the number of LEDs. So at 5 volt to get 140 milliampere we need R equal to V by I, 35 ohms. If the total resistance is 35 ohm and the equivalent resistance is 20 ohm, so we need 
35 minus 20 it is 15 ohms draw the equivalent circuit so here it is plus 5 volt we have a resistor of 20 ohm consider this LED as a resistor then we have another resistor and it is 15 ohm so the total resistance will be 35 ohms but we have a problem in this the problem is the supply voltage is plus 5 volt current is 140 milliampere so the total power what equal to V multiplied by I 5 volt multiplied by 140 milliampere and it is equal to 0 0.7 watt that is 700 milliwatt but we are using regular size resistor that is this size it is 1 by 4 watt that is 250 milliwatt but we need to handle 700 milliwatt so we need to increase the power of the resistance and these are the size comparison it is 1 by 4 watt half watt 1 watt and 2 watt we'll prefer 2 watts for more safety currently i don't have a 15 ohms resistor of 2 watt so i'll make 15 ohms by 10 ohms resistor here i'll connect one resistor the other two i'll connect in parallel 10 ohms 10 ohms 10 ohms so from this end to this end it is 15 ohms so i need three pieces of 10 ohms resistor of 2 watt i leave this now i'll remove the 100 ohms resistor and i'll connect 10 ohms resistor of 2 watt negative rail is connected with 2 watt resistor and another two will be connected in parallel so total equivalent resistance will be 15 ohms positive pin is connected and here it is negative now see the leds are glowing at full brightness now i'll remove one by one and see the reaction one is removed the other one the other one and the other one and this it is are blown up the three blown up why it is because when it was connected seven leds then the equivalent resistance was 20 ohms but when i was removing the leds one by one then the equivalent internal resistance was changing and getting higher and higher our current is changing but the external resistance was constant so when only three leds were left so the equivalent internal resistance was 150 by 3 it is 50 ohms total resistance in the circuit 50 plus the external series resistor that is 15 ohms it is 65 ohms now calculate the current in the circuit i equal to v by r 5 by 65 it is equal to 76 milliampere for three leds it is 76 divided by 3 approximately 25 milliampere the maximum value for led is 20 milliampere and we are getting 25 milliampere so the leds were blown up 20 milliampere is the maximum value for some leds we cannot even achieve this value that's why i do not use 100 ohms series resistor with 5 volt power supply I always use 220 ohms. For blue, green and white, 15 milliampere is safe side and for red and yellow, 10 milliampere is the safe side. According to this, you have to calculate your external series resistor. So we cannot use this type of circuit. If you need number 8, then all the LED should glow. And if you need number 1, then only 2 LEDs should glow. So current is changing, but the resistor is constant. So this type of circuit will damage your display. So this circuit is wrong. Now analyze this circuit. 
draw the equivalent circuit. The common cathode side is directly connected to the ground and here the signal voltage is plus 5 volt. As we already calculated the internal resistance that is 150 ohms, the external resistance is 100 ohm, it is 100 ohms. The total resistance from here to ground is 100 plus 150 that is 250 ohms. For this input also it is 250 ohms. Each of the signal has equal resistance that is 250 ohms. So current through per signal is 20 milliampere. Now even if you remove one then it will not affect the other one because everybody has external series resistor. Now check this in practical. First we will see one single LED. The negative pin of the LED is connected to the negative rail and the positive pin of the LED is connected with a 100 ohms resistor and then it is connected to positive rail. Negative rail is connected with negative and positive rail is connected with positive. LED is glowing. Now connect other one. Now look at the brightness. It will not change. The fourth one, fifth one and in this type of circuit we do not need 1 watt or 2 watts of resistor because only one LED has to handle and now we don't see any change in brightness. These are the 7 LEDs and even if you connect more you can connect. And please try it by yourself and then only you can see the actual brightness because in the camera or in the display it is not properly detectable. So guys this is all for today. I hope you like this video. If so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section. In the next video I will show you another topic. Till then stay happy and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.